Rocky Tackle Box unboxing, guys. This is what we're doing today. As you guys know, the last Lucky Tackle Box video I made was actually a challenge. If you guys have not seen that yet, be sure to go check it out. I actually linked the video below. And let me know. Go ahead and drop a like if you guys want to see a Lucky Tackle Box challenge on all these baits in the box where I'll actually go out here on the old pond and put the fish to the test and see if I can, uh, or put these baits to the test and see if I can catch some fish on them. So I have not opened this yet and it, Jesus, looking juicy already, guys. I already know I can do a cool challenge on this. On all this stuff oh yeah it's gonna happen so right when you open the box got all these baits inside guys I'm not even gonna go over all the little cards and stuff because you guys already know what that is we're gonna go over the baits so let's uh let's look and see the first thing so right here Deller jig company we got a football head jig this is actually black and blue sexy looking jig right there if you guys are wondering I'm having some big things come out soon guys where I'm gonna explain a lot more in depth on color I'm gonna explain a lot of everything. I can't really say too much about it right now because I'm still planning everything out. But uh, black and blue is going to be perfect for most of your ponds because they're obviously most of them are going to have dirty water. Um, also, the river. If I was going out on the river, this would be perfect in that super muddy water. Um, football head's really good on rock as well. All right, guys. The next bait that we actually have is the Lunker Hunt Prop Frog, which actually has a little trailer hook in between. You know, you have the two regular hooks. One goes on each side, and then you actually have the trailer hook attached. And then you have the little props on the end that are going to spin. This is definitely something I want to be using. It's just that natural color. It's got a little brown top on it. Um, a little bit of green. It's got a white belly um, with a little bit of yellow on that as well. That's going to be killer, guys. I could use that on the river. I could use it out here in the ponds. Um, I could use it in many places with shallow water. The next bait we actually have is a little shad square bill. You know, this is, this is going to work at a lot of different lakes, guys. I could even take this lake linear if I was wanting to go fish up shallow and use this bad boy. This is uh, just a little sexy shag color. Very, very clean and simple. It's gonna dive around three to five foot. It's a little square bill. Love to throw down some riprap and parallel the bank. I'm sure you catch them. Next, you got these big mouth baits. Crank bait right here. This is gonna be a little bit deeper. Let's see, let's see if we, like I said guys, I did not open this box. This is complete raw, so I do not know. It actually does not say the depth on it. If I could guess, it's gonna go around 10 to 12 foot. We got some regular old mustad hooks right here. And the reason we have these mustad hooks is because we have these Strike King um, Rage Tails, these beavers right here. And this is in Green Pumpkin, guys. This is killer. I'm gonna be using these. Actually, I might end up taking this out and going to catch a fish that I know lives over there in that corner that can drop it down that tree and they would munch this thing up. Absolutely munch. This has a little bit of blue swirl in it as well. Oh yeah, this bait. This is a uh, this is green pumpkin blue swirl, which is a really, really, really killer color. Really good in clear water as well, guys. This pond out here is usually not too dirty, unless it's obviously gonna rain. This pond out here is fairly clear. It's kind of that weird stained, um, you know, clear water. And lastly, look at this doomsday tackle. Let me take one of these out for you. Let me show you something real quick. I actually really like. Look how look how neat that pack. You see how straight. All those worms are. I don't know if you guys know, but if you go buy, uh, you know, some baits at, you know, Bass Pro, wherever it is, most of the time, I mean, every once in a while, you'll get like a soft plastic bag that all the baits are like crambled in there. And when you take them out, they actually won't be straight anymore. Like, say it was a worm and they'd have like little bins in them and you won't even be able to use them. So, this is definitely, I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Look, it's like a little tray, a little, little lunch tray, a little lunch tray for them bass. Look at that. Oh, what in the world? Oh, there's one right here. I thought I just got, got screwed right there for a minute there. There's a lot of different ways you can rig this bait, guys. I actually don't smell too bad. Don't smell too bad. This is a weird color. I don't even know what I would I don't even know what I would call this. So you got a little bit of gold and blue flake in here. So you could there's there's many a different ways you can rig this bait. So first, you can throw it on a Texas rig. Easy and simple. Second, where it, which is probably what I would do, throw it on a shaky head. Um, and third, you could actually wacky rig this. This isn't like a, a standard old finesse worm that's, it's actually pretty tough guys, and it's a, it's a thicker profile of a, of a worm. I actually really like this. I will have to get out here on the pond one day and actually throw this thing around. The color's, the color's pretty dark, but it's got that um, blue and gold sparkles in it as well. I believe that is all we got in this box. So let me go over a few things real quick. Let's let's go back over 
what we got in this box real quick. We got all these baits laid out here, you guys. I'm gonna pretty much go through this real quick and pretty much what we started off with. So, uh, first bait that I did start off with, was it this or was it the frog? No, it was this right here. I got this football head jig. This is black and blue. It's gonna be great in dirty water. Football head, really good on some rock. Clean simp, okay. We're, we're not going too far into depth. If I go fish with these and do an actual challenge, that's when I'm gonna talk in depth why I would throw this, where I would throw this, why these fish are eating it, why they're in a certain location on the pond or the lake, wherever it's at. Second, we got this Lunker Hunt prop frog. It's in that little natural color. This bait is actually pretty cool. I've never thrown one. I've heard about them, guys. I've never thrown one, so very, very, very interested in that. I want to get out there and throw that and see if we can catch some fish. I actually really like the trailer hook because I can tell you, a lot of the times when you're going to be throwing a frog, guys, this fish are not going to take that bait all the way down. They're going to come up. They're going to hit it. They're not going to actually get that thing down the throat, and a lot of the times you're going to miss a lot of fish on a frog, guys. I missed, you know, I had a tournament recently, and I couldn't tell you how many fish I missed on a frog, probably around 30, which sounds crazy, but they just did not have it. It wasn't that I was hooked down early, it's just they weren't getting it all the way um, because it is kind of a big profile for them to get in the back of their back of their throat. But with that trailer hook now, your hookup ratio is going to go up. Now we got this little square bill. Like I said, you know, if you go throw that on a little, you know, riprap wall, um, riprap wall, riprap bank, um, parallel that riprap bank with this little sexy shag color. It's got a little bit of chartreuse in the middle. Got that blue back, white belly. That's gonna die between two to five foot. Then you got this uh, big mouth baits, deeper diving crankbait. It has no information on it, I'm just saying now. But I believe I could go out there and catch some on that as well. This more though, this, this more, this little sh sexy shag color. Will you hear that? Yep, yep. Doesn't have a lot of rattles in there either. Next, we got these rage, these rage tail beavers. These, I'm telling you guys, I can whack them. I can literally go out here right now and catch them on that. And that's the green pumpkin blue swirl, which is actually a really, really, really phenomenal color. I really like Strike King's baits. You know, Strike King makes a lot of good stuff. But I actually have never thrown their beavers. But I can tell you one thing by looking at them right here, I know it's going to be some juice. I'm going to go catch some fish on that. And you got some hooks to go along with that. I'll put that on a half ounce weight tungsten. Lastly, we got these little finesse worms, which could be used as a Sanko. You could throw it weightless. It's actually a heavier profile of a worm. It's not like um, a regular zoom trick worm where it's going to be super light. This is actually a thick, I can't really explain it. It's like a thick profile of a finesse worm. It's, it's, it's more, it's not as soft. Um, it's thicker. It doesn't have as much stretch as you can tell. It's a lot more tough and it's got a lot more weight onto it. So I could end up throwing that further. So you can throw that thing weightless. You could wacky rig it weightless. You could uh have a weighted wacky rig you could have a texas rig shaky head you know you name it you could put that on there and i'm actually gonna you know take those out there on the old pond and see if i can catch them on it um here soon but if you guys want to see a lucky tackle box challenge video be sure to smash that like button be sure to comment below i want to see what you guys want to see next and i want you guys to comment below out of all these baits right here what bait is your favorite out of this lucky tackle box i can tell you one thing if i could guess out of all these baits either this all right, if I had to layer it down to a moving bait and a soft plastic, I would say the Lunker Hunt Prop Frog. I, and, and no, I haven't even used that. But I, I just know in this Rage Tail, this Beaver by Strike King, definitely top two baits in this month's box. Be sure to comment below which ones you want to see or which ones you actually like the best, soft plastics and hard baits. Be sure to smash that like button, guys, if you guys want to see a challenge video coming up very soon. And also be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support. Sorry about the late upload. I've been on a crazy, hectic schedule, guys. I literally just got back from school, and I'm filming this because I've just had a lot going on. But thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, my God. Good luck getting that fish out, Noah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hope everyone is having an amazing Mother's Day. I actually got to go to Atlanta this weekend for multiple reasons. It, um, I had just a lot of just crazy stuff to get done. Um, but I did not get everything done, sadly. But I did go back and uh, I was able to pick up this bad boy. So we will be getting some fishing content out to you guys. Look at all this babies, baby little catfish. I know it sounds crazy. I picked these up before. I picked a handful up in my hand. They'll shock you. They'll get you. Mind your motherfucking business. Ain't nothing you got.
gotta see How you all up in my shit when you got more problems than me Yeah, I'm cool, but you don't wanna see that other side of me And my d- mob and deep ho, I'm a f- prodigy I know, I know that you been envy, b- it ain't that hard to see Don't you dare go fix your mouth to tell me that you proud of me Ain't no 